Hello everybody, my name is Toxic Garchomp, and today, as you can see here, I have the Soul Galeo GX tin and the Lunala GX tin, the Legends of Alola tins. And I'm going to be opening up both of them right now, and I just realized you, you can see the reflection of my hand in the little top part of the Soul Galeo tin, that's kind of nice. Anyway, I love the art on these tin, on the cards themselves. I mean, the tins are pretty nice, but the uh, the cards, the art, oh, it's nice. Uh, you can just pause and read that right there if you want it. If you, I mean, if you want to read that, yeah. But um, yeah, there we go. I know I said I'd, the deck profile would be coming out soon. I have the deck ready. It's all set up and stuff, but. Uh, Give me time, okay? Alright, I'm gonna open up Lunala first because, of course, we gotta save the best for last. Like, come on. Like, obviously. I was thinking about just doing Solgaleo because we did do the Lunala Elite Trainer Box opening, and I doubt we'll be getting a Solgaleo Elite Trainer Box. So, yeah. There's the just. The front part, this part's just clear. I'm trying to just kind of pop. There we go. Okay, there's the Lunala promo. I'm just gonna keep that in there for now. I mean, just look at that art. Okay, that's beautiful. I prefer, and this is like one of the few cases where I prefer the art of the promo to the to that of the actual uh, card in the set. Anyway, in these tins we get two Sun Moon Packs, one Evolutions, and one Breakthrough. So I'm going to go from order of favorite sets. Alright, these. Evolutions is probably my least favorite set out of these, just because there's not much playable stuff in it. The, the, one thing I, the one good thing I do have to say about Evolutions is that the condition that the cards are in is phenomenal. Like the print, the print run they did for Evolutions is great. Like really nice. All right, starting off with a Ghastly Sandshrew Weedle Tangela. Oh, there's not as much player in this video. I don't know why. Ponyta, not complaining. Metapod, Professor Oak's Hint, Coughing, Reverse Charmeleon, and Radicate Non Hollow Rare. Wasn't really expecting to get much good out of Evolutions. I mean, there isn't much good out of Evolutions to begin with. To begin with. All right, let's, let's go with the Primarina pack first. Before Sogaleo. Because Primarina is such a pleb. Such a lame pleb. Alright. I'm just going to start tossing out the energy. Because it. Who cares about. It's just an energy. Like. Like. No one, no one cares. Just energy. All right, Alolan Grimer, Rallet, Drowsy, Cutiefly, Skarmory, Pissimian, Pokemon Catcher. Hey, remember when this was twenty dollars? Okay, Darium Sharpens. Golbat, Reverse Alolan po Persian, and Two Cannon Non Hollow Rare, which for some reason burns things. Like I don't get that. But uh, yeah, all right. I'm not expecting to really get great pulls out of these tins. I mean, tins aren't exactly the most, like, generous of products. So, I mean, I don't expect... I, I, I'd honestly not be surprised if we don't even get, like, a single... A single... Uh, what's it called? A pull. I mean, a hollow? Yeah, I can expect a hollow. But, I mean... That's not really a pull. It's not really that great. Oh, Reverse Rare Masquerade. That's a thing, I guess. And, wow, Solgaleo GX. Okay. I guess we got two now. <laughs> it's pretty interesting. Also, that's pretty good. Uh, I have, I've, I actually have clear sleeves now, because I've been ordering a lot of singles, and they come in them. The sad thing is most of them are not um, uh, tight fit. I actually only... I think I only got like one that was tight fit, and I just sold. A, I put a card in it, and I sold it, and they, they forgot to give me the sleeve. But that's fine. I can buy more. It's fine. I don't care. Breakthrough is like 
really nice and kind of sad that we're losing it. I just, I put the code aside, but I realized that, um, this set, this is the last set where they did it where, like, the code doesn't actually matter. I mean, like, the back of the code, like, it's a white code. All the backs of the codes that you can break through are, they're all white. It doesn't actually matter. Reverse Kuladin and Simipor. Alright. That does it for the Sol, Sol Galeo, or, no, that was a Lunalitin. I'm just kind of, kind of confused because we got this. Yeah, uh, alrighty, uh, now time to move on to Solgaleo. If we could pull a Lunala in Solgaleo Tin, that'd actually, like, be pretty funny. That's kind of hard to get open. Well, I need scissors for the first time ever. I cut my fingernails, like, yesterday, too. Oh, there we go. I just realized that, like, most of that wasn't on camera. There's the Solgaleo promo. Again, I prefer this art. And there's the front. I guess you guys already saw that. I'll just put that back there. Take that code. And get these packs. And once again, I'm just gonna do the same order. Well, well, Alright, I think our evolutions was... Yeah, it was a Mega Blastoise pack. All right. Whoa, what? I don't know how that happened. It doesn't really matter. Can we get something out of evolutions? I don't think so. It doesn't really matter even if we do. I mean, there's not... Like I said previously, there's not much good in this set. There's like... Dragonite. There's Pidgeot. That can... Can, can be good. Wow, two energy. Machoke. Coughing. Reverse Hollow Switch. Didn't star me. Like I said. Like, star, star me... Star me isn't even... Isn't even good. Cause like, you know, it has a break. But it's not good. Its break card isn't good. It, I have its break card. I was thinking, yeah, I could sell it, and then I looked up its value, and it's like, that's worth- that's le- that's, what? That's worth less than some uncommons, like... Actually, like, N is worth more than it. I- I don't know if I just showed that code or not. I guess before I upload the video, I'm gonna have to, uh... Oh wait, that's the energy. I almost forgot about that. I guess before I upload the video, I'm gonna have to go through all these codes and just redeem them all. Right. And that's incinerable. I kind of, I just demolished that pack. All right. Can, can I just hold the cards correctly? It's kind of hard. Tratini, right. San, San, Sandy Gast, Morlow, Fomantis, Sir Skit, Brion, Timer Ball, Voldor. Reverse Hollow Pukamuku and Umbreon GX. Okay, that's the third one of those that I have. And the second one opened on camera. Wow. Okay. Sun and Moon. What is up with this Sun Sun and Moon luck? Like two Ultra Rares. Can we make it three Sun and Moon Ultra Rares, or just three Ultra Rares in general? I'd, I'd be fine with that. I mean, I'm fine with this too. Like this is amazing. I don't know how we're getting such incredible pulls out of, like, just these. Maybe if I'd be nice to this Decidueye, it would give us good- oh! Maybe if I'm nice to it. Like, Decidueye, you just, you just gotta be nice to it, you know? Uh, I'm just kidding, I, I saw the code card, you're not getting anything out of this guy. Right, that was fire energy. Whoa! I almost knocked it- oh, well, there it goes, Leaning Tower of Pisa. Oh, you don't, you can't see what just happened, but, um, like, pretty much, like, the top part of the bolt, like, fell off. Oh, sorry that there's, like, no visuals happening there. Alright, there we go. I already did the pack trick. Alright, Marini, Rog and Rolla, Alolan Rattata, Chinchow, Patas, Great Ball, Hussimian, Team Skullgrunt, Sandy Gas, and Lantern Non Hollow Rare. Last pack. Can Solgaleo dominate? No, I mean, it's dominated already. Solgaleo is playable in so many more decks than Lunala is. Like, you can play Solgaleo in so much. Like, like you can dedicate a deck to Solgaleo. You can make it, like, Darkrai. You can... There's a lot you can do with Solgaleo. 
All right, reverse holo pancham and semi seer, non holo rare. All right, well, uh, I'm pleased. I'm very pleased. I'm extremely pleased. I have no complaints about these tins, like at all. That's loud. That's really loud. I, I have no complaints about these tins. You know what? In fact, uh, all right. I'll, uh, yeah, like, all right, let's take a look at the condition of these. All right, yeah, look, all right, just, just, yeah, all right, let's see. Ooh, 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 that's not great. Not amazing, not terrible condition maybe like a seven. Oh, this is a perfect fit this is a perfect fit Yay. I didn't think I had this many perfect fits I now have two Slogaleos who would have thunk it I'm just gonna make that right, and the Lunala just Oop. sorry if you hear any background noises stuff is happening in the background Ooh, that's actually in really good condition. Right. Wait, I don't know what they, why they differentiate between um, tins and boxes. Oh, there's another perfect fit. Wow. Because they're practically the same thing. Like the tins and the boxes. Like, you get a promo card and four packs of assorted sets. It's like, I don't get why it's different. But all right, whatever. Yeah, this was good. This was very good. This was incredible. Like, actually, this is really good. All right. If you ask my opinion on the tins themselves, like the physical metal part of it, this, I don't like the tin. Um, it's not it's not good for storing the cards like you, you put the card in there and it's like oh it's like thanks card but yeah so uh yeah this has been not the best Solgaleo Lunala tin opening I've seen better ones but it's certainly not going to be the worst Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're feeling generous. Uh, if you want to see more, just tell me that you like these videos. Tell me what you want to do, what you want me to do. Because I will do anything within my power, anything that I can do, including getting that deck profile out. But yeah, uh, see you guys next time. Peace.